Well guys, I made it to LAX in one piece. Make sure you come back for the vlogs next weekend because I'm headed somewhere else right now. Uh, so you'll have to find out where I'm going next. But if you guys oh, like well, this video, if it isn't Victoria's Secret at LAX, almond blossom and oat milk. Um, hmm. I mentioned this before, but these body moisturizing creams, like when I was in college, <laughs> I lived for these. They were actually pretty good despite the obvious heavy fragrance. Three for 33. This looks good. What are these? Coconut wax. Are these little candles? Yeah. These are cute. I'm almost finished with All Quiet on the Western Front. It is so good. We are on the plane to JFK and it's gonna be a long flight. I'm flying Delta non-stop and it's been a while since I've made this flight from coast to coast. But I had a little blanket <laughs> and it's been a while since I've flown Delta. I had a little screen. So Atlanta is like the Delta hub, and Atlanta is the city of Coca-Cola. And in the South, when I was growing up, I didn't, I didn't grow up in Georgia, I grew up in South Carolina. But when I was growing up, we would call everything, all soda was Coke. People would say, do you want a Coke? And I'd say, sure, what kind? I was saying this the other day, how like there's certain brands that you just say automatically, even if you're talking about the non-name brand. That's how Coke is. <laughs> yeah, like no one says soda, no one says pop. I just say Coke. Espresso martini, ooh. Tip top. It's brown, the entertainment. Yeah, so I ended up getting... I think that's good. Uh, yeah, there Ordinary people. It's a really good block too. Yeah. And the water frame looks good. Oh, I love this movie. It's a good one. Well guys, we made it to New York. I'm here to work with Neutrogena on some content. We have a fun event tomorrow. Um, I just got to the hotel, it was about 12, 1 a.m. So I have to be up pretty early, but I'll give you guys a quick tour of the room. It's the William Vale Hotel in Brooklyn. But update where we last left off on the plane. So I edited a video on the plane and then I decided, hey, I've never seen Schindler's List and it's three hours. Got about three more hours of this flight left. Oh my gosh, that's intense. Like it was such an intense, like emotional movie like it was so it was it's hard to watch and so when the play landed i was like i just felt drained from watching it i mean it's it's intense um yeah uh anyway it's i, I recommend watching it's it's very very good uh, if you've never seen it um looks like uh here's our room looks like we've got a comfy bed a little chaise lounge Neutrogena left us some cookies and some flowers. Wasn't that sweet? And water. Definitely need that. Um, we have a little oh, ice bucket and cups. Snacks. Safe. Ooh, cups. And a oh, mini fridge. All right. Uh. Oh, we have the Santal 33. I feel like I had that some other somewhere else. Wasn't didn't we have this at the Le Labo Santal 33? We had that um, 
either at the uh, Austin proper or I feel like it was the Parker Hotel too had that same one. Like I said, I'm kind of drained from that flight in the movie. So I'm gonna take a shower and hit the sheets, <laughs> as they say. And I will check in with you guys in the morning because we have a fun day ahead of us. Good morning, good morning. Got my coffee and I'm just about ready to head on down and meet the team. I'm all dressed. They're actually gonna do my hair, so good luck. Good luck for them. <laughs> Cause she's unwieldy. But I didn't realize we have this cute little balcony out here to have our coffee on. And here's a view. I have to get up at like quarter till four to head to the airport so I need to I need to get a little shed eye in if you will and uh, update I've gotten quite a bit of swag on this trip so if you missed last weekend's vlog so to catch you up I originally had flown to Anaheim for VidCon I was in VidCon had my interview gave my talk in the session and then from VidCon flew to New York for this Neutrogena event. The Neutrogena event is called Summer School for Skin You. It was all, it was dermatologists, people from Google, um, you know, just talking about the industry. And then we heard from Neutrogena about some of their products. And then they had booths set up for us to film and create content for them. But what was I gonna tell you guys? So across this trip, I've gotten a few freebies. Uh, first of all, I got some more of my Neutrogena tinted mineral pure screen love this i like the shade medium i can also get away with the shade light i got a sample here of the new amino protect and soothe face mineral sunscreen look forward to trying that out then at vidcon i got this kosa's lipstick which i put on this morning and it's really pretty going on but unfortunately 90 percent of it ended up on my coffee cup and didn't, it didn't stay on very well. Now, this is the hotel. The hotel included this fragrance-free hand sanitizer. I mean, it's like, did they know I was coming? This is probably the best hotel um, toiletry 
item I have ever gotten because it's pretty good oh. and it is free of fragrance. So I am definitely gonna take that home. It's in a glass bottle. Really liked that. These are these I brought with me. Um, they were not a gift, but I love them. And then I also got at VidCon, I got a little swag bag at VidCon. I got this MAC stack. I don't know what this is. I think it's a mascara. Let's see. Yeah, it's a mascara. It, these were in boxes, but I took them out of the boxes and disposed of the boxes for travel purposes to here because I didn't want to have all this bulky, all that bulky packaging. Um, and then I'm really excited to try this. I was considering giving it a try today, but I didn't want to test out a new hair product and then be filming content. And they were, I knew I was going to get my hair styled. So I laid off on giving this a try, but it's a nourishing, sh nourishing shine drops. Really excited to try this because I love anything that makes my hair shiny and glossy. And then they also gave at VidCon, um, this OPI nail lacquer in the shade, I quit my day job. <laughs> so that's cute. Yeah, lots of goodies. Still loving this hanging toiletry bag, by the way. Um, this was a win from the Amazonian. Oh, I also got some stickers at YouTube, uh, at VidCon. And my little makeup brush carrying thing. I mean, this is this is handy. Um, and it lays really flat in the suitcase. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. Like I said, I need to hit the hay. Um, well, hey guys, I'm back. I've been back actually for about a week now, but I wanted to pick up the camera and round out this vlog. I hope you guys had fun coming with me to New York. It was just, you know, a quick in and out trip piggybacking off of my trip to VidCon. So quite a whirlwind of activity and I'm still trying to get caught up uh, and back on track in life. But you guys, I should have shared my favorites with you at this point already, but you have got to try the hydrocolloid patch trick for mosquito bites. If you missed my favorites video, this these are the Hero Cosmetic Mighty Patches that I have recommended for those of you who deal with breakouts that you are tempted to pick and squeeze because the hydrocolloid helps absorb the exudate from the pimple, so it'll help flatten it out, but it also just serves as a barrier between you and your fingers preventing picking. But I got attacked by mosquitoes. Hello, Houston. It's like mosquitoes everywhere. These work so well. This is a nose patch, but they also, of course, make the circle ones. Um, but the nose patch I find is pretty handy because you can actually cut it into different pieces. I'm not gonna do, do it here on waist one because thank gosh, I don't have any mosquito bites right now. But you can cut these if you have the big ones and get them into different shapes. Or, you know, if you go to the drugstore, you can find hydrocolloid bandages. You don't have to use these. But like if you have them for pimples and you also happen to get a mosquito bite, slap one on because let me tell you, it takes away the itch almost instantaneously. And it also um, helps a lot with uh, sucking up the fluid that comes in, the inflammation, and that's what makes the bumps swell and also makes it itchy. So it really helps clear them up really fast. I have just like really been elated by this. The other thing though that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm also, um, I've also done from time to time with these is, I mentioned before, I get flares of hand eczema and these actually kind of help if you have a little itchy patch of hand eczema to put it there because not only is it like a barrier against trans epidermal water loss, it's also a barrier against irritants getting into the skin and triggering the eczema. I'm just gonna cut this one and show you how I put it on. Um, but it's flexible. It's not like having a big wonky bandage on. It's flexible, comfortable, you do have to be careful if you are really, really sweaty because sweat trapped up under this could aggravate the hand eczema. But for me, it's really been helpful. Like I get a little patch here and I mentioned this too. I've been doing the, um, I'm almost out of it actually because I took it with me on a trip. The Gold Bond hand cream under, under cotton gloves is, is huge, but like, during the day and stuff, when I can't be walking around a la Michael Jackson with the glove on, I have been putting this on this one little particularly stubborn patch that comes and goes a lot. Put this on and it's as if it's not, even, I don't even have that patch there. 
Um, it really helps reduce the water loss and again, prevent irritants from getting into the skin, which is a major trigger when you have eczema, especially hand eczema, because you're touching everything. Most people on some level are allergic to nickel. It's like the most common contact allergen. And so when my hand eczema is flared up like that, like it can be, it's not bad right now, but um, it has been recently actually. When it's flared up, if I touch things that have nickel in them, that makes it worse for me. Plus, like plants and things that you come in contact with walking around outside can really aggravate it. So this little hydrocolloid trick has been huge. I leave it on throughout the day. And then when I take it off, um, there's really not much on the bandage unless, unless there was some weeping of fluid. Because if you have hand eczema, you know, like it kind of oozes sometimes, that fluid. And that fluid is like super itchy. This kind of helps absorb that and keep it from irritating your skin. It's, it's really been been a huge, huge game changer. Okay, I actually had a chance, you guys, to try out these JVN Shine Drops I was sharing with you. So the ingredients in this, it does have fragrance. The scent's not too bad. And if, you, if you're wondering, like, I thought you avoid fragrance. I avoid fragrance in, like, leave-on skincare products, but I'm the complete opposite when it comes to my hair. I love, like, strong scents in my hair. This isn't strong, though. Um, it's kind of like a light, fresh scent when you smell it out of the bottle, but once you put it on your hair and comb it through, you don't smell anything. Anyway, so I was thinking it was gonna be something like a hair serum that was gonna leave my hair like super glossy and shiny, but uh, it's got sunflower seed oil, moringa seed oil, and then the fragrance. So really, it's more of an actual oil. And so when I read the ingredient list, probably gonna not work out for my hair because my hair typically doesn't take to oils so well. It just ends up looking greasy and oily. Quite the contrary, this product has really been surprising me because what it's been doing for me is not necessarily making my hair shiny and glossy, but you know when your hair is dirty, it's easier to style and it holds volume a little better, you know what I'm talking about? But it looks greasy and dirty and I have to shampoo my scalp every day. Like I can't, people out there who are able to get away with shampooing once a week, I know that's what a lot of people are, are able to only able to do. I could never do that. I would look so, my, my scalp just puts out so much oil. I could never do that. Um, I, I just couldn't. And I would, I would smell bad, look bad. <laughs> I just couldn't do that. This is kind of the best of both worlds because it's like having dirty hair <laughs> in terms of holding style better, but it doesn't look greasy. I don't know how this is going on my hair and not making it look greasy because every hair oil I've ever tried has always made my hair look greasy, but this is not doing that. So the way I've been using this is at night, I shampoo my hair, I get out of the shower, I get the majority of the water out of my hair with my microfiber towel, which I swear by those Aquas towels. Um, anyway, so I get the majority of the water out of my hair and then I put the equivalent of two of these into my hair. I know, right? It doesn't, that's the one thing about it. It doesn't, it's not a very generous product and that you actually do need a lot. So I put two of these, one to kind of each half and I direct it to the mid, mid length all the way down, comb it through, pin my hair up. The following morning, my hair is a lot more style friendly. <laughs> But I still much prefer using my Moroccan oil styling cream because that product, while it doesn't give me the benefit of like the dirty hair effect, that product actually does leave my hair soft, smooth, shiny. I actually wanna try double stacking them and see how that performs. But all I have to say, I've liked this so far and it's been working out well for me. It, it basically, I view it as like a pre-style product <laughs> to help your hair hold styling but it doesn't really have any aesthetic benefit to the hair itself. Like it doesn't necessarily cut down on frizz. It doesn't make your hair look shiny. I mean, so that's been my experience with it. The other update, so I painted my nails. I need to do a little touch up on it, but I painted my nails with the OPI nail lacquer they gave. I did this and I did a fun manicure with this and the OPI red and I've been loving that. So what I do though, when I do my nails, I don't have it out here, but I swear by OPI's Nail Envy as the base coat because I've had this on for going on a week now and I need to take it off now, but it really helps the nail polish stay on a long time and it is a nail strengthener. So it makes your nails like really hard. So I use that let it dry, then put the nail polish over. And then over the nail polish, I swear by Sesh Vite, this top coat, that's made all the difference. 
Anyway, y'all, like I said, thank you for coming along. I know this vlog was kind of random bits and pieces. I hope you all enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.